So this is an extremely popular service out here and it saves people the 20 minute drive to go into town for their books and uh, this is run by Nagano Council. Pretty cool. Gardening, art, uh, this one's a large type for people who have problems with their eyesight. And sports down here. Hey, so my wife just got some cookie plants. Mm -hmm. Look at that. From a friend in the village. So pretty cool. It's got the disabled access. So if someone in a wheelchair or elderly, that'll come up and they can still pick their books out. That's so all computerized and scannable. And there's uh, four different places in the village where this stops. And the librarian's just sorting out the returns. Mobile library, pretty cool. section up here. What are you getting, Kumika? Hmm? What are you getting? Gardening? Yeah. So it's all connected into the library system as well. So you can order books to read. And uh, they'll bring them on the day as well. So just think of the savings um, for people who are elderly, not having to go into town, park, and all the hassle. So this is a great service that they offer out in uh, the villages. And uh, we'll just go see what chair core is going to buy. Chair core likes these uh, self improvement books. 
this one's about uh, fatigue and don't be lazy or something like that. This one is sort of like a positive thinking book. Positive thinking. Um, sort of like a health book uh, for people over 60. Maybe um, how to improve your life over 60, something like that. And this one is similar. So check goes into sort of um, practical things to help your life. And my wife, cooking books. What else? Gardening. A bit too late for potatoes. I put them in yesterday. Mushrooms. A bit too late. We did that before. And cooking. So, me and the wife, we love gardening and cooking as well. Cherko is a professional farmer, so she's probably had enough of growing food. So she, she has uh, other interests. Cool bus. Hi, <laughs> Akune. They're the last ones here. They're holding them up. YouTuber book. Chinese YouTuber book. Huh? What is it? Like a technique, no? Like YouTube techniques. Yeah. And yeah, I'm too old for that. <laughs> so this bus stops in uh, the four different places and they stop at community centres. So this is one of the community centres. And this one is just like our community centre, which is up the hill here, um, which services the people in this direct vicinity. So my part of the, the village has a community centre is the smallest, only 40 households. This area, possibly 150 households would be serviced uh, by this community centre. And this is one of the stops on the run. So if you're out in rural areas, um, there are services uh, depending where you are. Um, I live 20 to 25 minutes from major city. So we're serviced by a well-resourced council uh, that can do this sort of thing. Uh, it'll, it'll be different uh, depending where you are in Japan. Some areas might not have anything. So these are considerations that you need when you're buying out in rural areas, but also um, because of the computerized nature of the library system, um, you can pretty much get books ordered in, not just from the local council, the local main city council, but they can also order books in that they might not have, get them delivered to their library and then out to you. So it's a, uh, not that isolating if you're a reader. Um, if you're an English speaker, it is uh, because there's not much in the way of English books. And from what I could see, you can get them, but um, a lot of the a lot of the topic material and whatever it's uh, it's not to everyone's taste, and especially mine. So you're pretty much um, left to the internet. Um, and the internet's getting bigger and better every day as well, so not too bad. So, the girls have got their books. Returning and borrowing. Okay, so we're the last ones to leave. One thing you notice in Japan is everybody grows so many spring onions, the negi. They put it in everything. What's this one? Hmm? 
Boke? Never heard of it. Oh, do we? Apparently, we had this in Tasmania. It's called Boke. No idea. So while I'm here, just have a look at uh, this guy's property. He lives in a house uh, just adjacent to this, but um, he has everything he needs. Every little thing, different little crop, just enough for him and his family and maybe send some to his kids. Got a little grape area there as well. So. This is a typical retirement. Um, I don't know this gentleman, but uh, he could have been a teacher or or uh, any type of occupation. And um, this is how people spend their time. And they're out in their gardens when they can, and they get a lot of enjoyment out of what they do. So they're just packing up and moving on to the next part of the village. That's the Japanese mobile rural library. And as always, hope you like the video. Sa! Let's go back home.